It's impressive. What's this? Um, I'm trying to move on to the next segment. Bunny! Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I am an AMC member, and what that means is I, I am signed up to a subscription service. Five a month, I get three free movies a week. And I'm still in the AMC list program because I'm grandfathered in. I signed up in 2018, and I got 19.95 a month. And there's a lot of other people in bigger cities paying twenty four ninety five a month, or but I'm in a small city, uh, in a small state, so I'm and I'm grandfathered in, so I'm still paying nineteen ninety five a month, and it's really great. And from December 2020, I saw a whopping one hundred and seventy seven movies in a sixty six week week period. Then the pandemic hit and movie theaters closed down, but now they're back open, and I'm watching two movies a week because Baby Steps, so it's time to talk new movies with Steve Stubbs of the Week! Da, 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 da. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So this episode represents my fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth week back. This is the number eight in sign language. And... In that time, I have seen 16 movies in theaters, Baby Steps. So this week, I saw the following two movies in theaters. Free Guy, starring Deadpool, and the Aretha Franklin biopic, Respect. Now every week, I pick a Steve Stubbs movie pick of the week that I want to talk a lot about. But first, let's discuss the movie that was not chosen as the movie pick of the week. Respect the Aretha Franklin biopic. It stars Jennifer Hudson and a parent, and everyone's like, oh, a tremendous performance, amazing. Our first real Oscar contender. Oh, she is going to, she's going to win the Oscar for sure. What an amazing performance. And I guess we're all just collectively forgetting the fact that she was just in the goddamn Cats movie where she was, she, she sang memories with an eternally rocky nose. She played a homeless cat in yes. one of the worst films of all time. And apparently we're just all forgetting that. We're just all forgetting the fact that she was a cat in one of the worst movies of all time. But... It, it's, a, it's a shame. Uh, whatever. It is a shame. It's... I really like the logo for Steve Stubbs of the I'm just uh, noticing that. Thank that you. is, uh, hey, look at that. Wow. That looks it, nice. It's raining tickets. Oh, no. I'm being attacked. It needed That's its own visual kind of thing. thing. I like it. I like it. It's very... So pretty. Okay. So, Respect. The Franklin movie. Your connection is unstable? No, you're unstable. Okay, so the Aretha Franklin biopic. I knew nothing about Aretha Franklin movie. I knew her music, and that was it. I didn't know anything about her personal life. So, uh, let me tell you something. She went through so much pain and suffering and and spousal abuse, beatings, and rape. She had such that when you find where she writes the song and it becomes a hit, it's like the end of a rock movie. Yeah. And it's like, fucking yes. Okay, you deserve this, Aretha. Good for you. It, it, it was a really good movie. I liked it. Especially since I knew nothing about her. It's all just new to me. But it was really good. And she was really believable as Aretha Franklin. And of course she had this. And, uh, but let me tell you something weird that happened in the movie. Uh, uh, really bizarre. But 
So I'm watching the movie. The climax of the film, really emotional, really beautiful. The movie started. I didn't know this was a thing, but it started like the whole time I've been watching a DVD. Okay. It was so, it was so weird. I grabbed my phone out and started filming it. Because the goddamn movie was skipping during the climax. Yeah. And it really got me thinking. Yeah, it started skipping. It started like she was singing and it would freeze up and then continue. Just like a scratchy DVD and she singing. Ah, ah, uh, 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 the weirdest thing. So I started filming it and I post on Twitter and it's like my movie is skipping. How is this even possible? And I really started thinking like I don't know how there's work. Back in the day there were reels, but they don't do the reels anymore. Are they just downloading this? onto a computer and then they're just playing it through a projector as far as I understand or, or yeah. for all I know maybe they just had bad internet when they were downloading or some shit I don't fucking know it pissed me off and if you want to see if you don't believe me I got freaking proof just go to twitter.com slash reverence because it's all right there the movie skipped, and it really brought me out of the movie when your movie starts to skip in a freaking movie theater. Yeah. Very upsetting to me, but uh, it was a really good movie until that happened. But, yeah, I, I, I'm scared to go see the movie a second time because it's like, what if it starts skipping again? That'll really piss me off. But, yeah, so that's the movie. I movie, uh, uh, yeah, the skipping was really difficult. Titus, the gay black guy from Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, he like co-stars in the movie. That was really shocking. It was, really? I was glad to see him again. Yeah, yeah, a surprising dramatic role for Titus Andromedon from Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Good for him. He was really good in the movie, too. I thought that seeing this funny guy would bring me out of the movie, but he did a really good job. And finally, the Steve Stubbs movie pick of the week is Free Guy, the new movie starring a uh, Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds, yes. Deadpool. Um, the premise is fucking stupid, but as long as you are able to get past the pretty stupid premise, this movie's a bunch of dumb fun, and I had a blast. Uh, it, I was surprised that the premise of the movie, they did a pretty good job hiding in, but the basic premise is there are these two indie game video game, and it's kind of like The Sims, except you don't play it. The AI characters get to go off and make their own, live their own lives. Okay. Uh, <coughs> to go off and live their own, sort of watch that unfold. Video game is bought by a big game developer, but they shelve it and they never use it. But then they release this new game called Free City, and it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto meets Fortnite. And uh, it's, it's just a city full of these people living their lives, and then you go and you're robbing banks and killing people, explosions and tanks and all of that. But a non player an NPC who works at the bank, decides to just fight, not let the guy rob the bank, and fight against the guy. And it, as it turns out, the, the big-time video game developer who bought this game and shelved it just used it as a basis for his new video game, which means that the 
possibility that all come to life and live their own lives. It's, it's a ridiculous premise, but once you get past that, it's a really fun movie, and there's a bunch of cameos in it and video game references, and a lot of famous YouTubers are in it. So that I recognize two of them. So it was just a lot of... And there's a lot of nerdy references from I know that that's from Fortnite and and yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Because cool. you're in this video you see these you see these these avatars running around blowing things up and stealing cars and running from the police. But it, it be playing those characters into the voices of some of the characters that you see robbing a bank or stealing a car and everything because they're played by famous people. So, so watch the film, stay for the end credits and look at the credits because you'll be like, oh shit, that's a famous person who played the character who robbed that bank. Oh, there's a famous person who played that character who, uh, blew up the building and whatever. So there's a bunch of famous people who have secret cameos in this film. The Rock voices a character in this. Really? So that's a shocking thing. Yeah, that's a shocking thing to hide from people because any movie that features The Rock just plast plasters The Rock's name everywhere. But yeah, this was, a, this was a good movie and it was fun and it was stupid and I had a blast. I really recommend it. Free guy. It, it's, a, it's a fun, dumb movie. And there's some good laughs in it. Ryan Reynolds is really good as a video game character who sort of gains consciousness, and I really liked it. So that's this week in new movies. Next week, I will be going to see the horror movie The Lake House, or... The or something like that. I'm going to see a horror movie, and then I'm not sure what else, but join us next week for more up-to-date movie reviews with Steve Stubbs of the Week. And cut on that. <laughs>